Do you know what is the worst thing that someone can do to you when you get nationally cancelled? When you watch this video, you'll know the exact moment that she cried. And a guy gets arrested for a practice that is commonly accepted in Japan and I'm so glad that this wannabe Don Juan got arrested. Look at him bowing to the camera. He thinks he's suave but you're arrested baby! And why is the rest of the world freaking out over something that Prime Minister Kishida said when nobody in Japan cares? Let's dive into today's news. Hello world, this is Dean from Japan. How are you doing today? Okay. <laughs> So I've changed the set and I guess I'm too excited but let's dial down the excitement a little bit before I go to the first news which is this one. The BBC freaked out on January 24th because Japan's Prime Minister Kishida said that Japan is on the brink of not being able to function as a society. Oh my god! Oh my god! But I think a better translation is this one. So as of 2020, 29% of the Japanese population is said to be 65 years or older. So this means that more than one fourth of the population is a senior citizen. And because the current pension plan relies on the younger generation paying for them through taxes, this means that some people can't retire at an age that they were expecting to. So yeah, the system is not gonna be functional soon. But no one in Japan cared about this even though the media worldwide went nuts. Because already on January 11th, Kishida said, Of different dimensions? So that word is usually translated as unprecedented in English. But here's the thing, right? We don't really know where he is trying to get the money or what measures he's going to put in place. He only said this after Tokyo Mayor Yuriko Koike announced on January 4th that she is planning to give 5,000 yen or 38 American dollars per month for children aged 0 to 18 as a measure to combat population decline. これは0歳から18歳までの子供を対象に1人月額で5000円を切れ目なく給付をするというものであります。本来であれば国が取り組むべきことでございますけれども、今全くなしの状況を踏まえまして、やっち。She really knows how to serve those burns the Japanese adult way. Next news, I need to talk about this. People are shocked to hear that he got arrested. This dude is called Takuya Akihara, 27 years old, who worked as a host. Hosts are men who work by entertaining women by giving them attention such as through talking and drinking with them. <sighs> that sounds really boring but host clubs have many tactics to get women hooked such as making hosts compete for the number one spot in terms of sales. Sales meaning making women buy overpriced champagnes. So it gives the female customers the incentive to make their favorite hosts win. This Takuya is accused of forcing his female customer in her 20s to work at a soap plan last December. A soap plan sounds fun. You kind of picture something like those selfie museum of ice creams. But in Japan, a soap plan is a form of prostitution where a woman washes men's body at a bathhouse, among with other things to relax the male patron. By the way, soap plans were called torukobudo or Turkish bath in the past until a Turkish scholar complained about it. In Japan, compensated sexual intercourse is illegal so Japanese prostitution needs to find one way or another to make money that does not involve anything getting penetrated or inserted. So that's why we get crazy things like soap lands. Takuya's victim owed him up to 10 million yen or 77,000 US dollars. In order to pay Takuya back, the victim was forced to work at different soap lands across Japan for six months. And Takuya threatened her by saying, if you do not work at soaps, I will make you do something even worse. A lot of Japanese people are shocked by this because this is a common practice of hosts. Although some wealthy women do go to host clubs, what you usually see in Japanese manga and drama series is hosts making girls emotionally dependent on them, get them into debts, 
and then making them work in such industries. And it's not just Takuya. Up to 13 people, including the mediator and the owner of Soaplands, were arrested. Takuya admitted his guilt saying that he wanted to increase his sales to become the number one host and that he did charge the victim more than what she actually owed. I think a lot of these girls who become victims of hosts come from broken homes or have problematic upbringing, so they are very desperate in seeking affection. And I know this sounds really harsh, but this is the truth. Once you become an adult, unfortunately, society doesn't care about your sad upbringing you are responsible for your own actions. What makes this really sad is because of such upbringing, I don't think these girls know how to respect themselves or know that they have the right to seek help when they need to. Preying on an emotionally vulnerable person and brainwashing them into thinking that they have to pay with their body is clearly illegal. If you feel like you are being forced to do something you don't want to, it is important to take a step back and try to see things objectively. And if there is any karmic justice, these guys arrested would be forced to take customers in prison. And lastly but not least, it's the live stream that everyone in Japan was waiting for. Tanukana, the Japanese esports player who lost her Red Bull sponsorship and got fired from her team last February for claiming that men under 170 centimeter or 5 foot 6 have no human rights during a live stream is back online. What? Apparently, human rights, according to the Japanese game slang, refers to a character that has a very strong item. So she wasn't saying that short guys, short kings had to Before she got fired, her live streams usually had something like 3 people watching simultaneously. Well, getting fired over such a lame view count is harsh. But on last January 20th, during her live stream, she had over 8,000 people watching. Tanukana during the live stream was showing off her cleavage because guys are simple and will click on anything with a cleavage. She said that she's currently surviving on her savings made during her professional esports player days. She dyed her hair black so she can find work and that she stays home all day long playing games because she's too afraid to go outside. She did start the live stream with an apology. But after that, it was one meme after the next. This tweet that went viral said, Tanukana, you must be a resident in South Park. So she was all like, man, those people making noise in the comments section must be hobbits. Cause you know, hobbits are short and do I have to explain jokes? She also said, I just want to play some clips that I thought were interesting. So I guess this will be the portion of the video where you'll see me watch another person's clip. But here it goes. で、お母さんとおばあちゃんに謝罪するしかないからな。関係ない uh, sorry, I was laughing, but some of the comments were hilarious. There were people saying, oh my god, Hobbit's jealousy is so insidious. And someone was also saying, hey, I'm, I'm under 170 centimeter, please insult me. <laughs> but man, these guys that can only be aggressive towards a certain gender, they seriously do not have any self-respect. Apparently, her dad also passed away and she decided to do the live stream again because her dad told her not to lose against guys who would only harass women. あの、AV の誘いありましたかみたいな。よう聞かれるんやけど。ありましたよ。てか、え、ガチでさ、きつかったんか。プロゲーマー時代に配仕事とかでちょくちょく要請くれよって人がおんねんけど、一緒に仕
、行くじゃないですか。話聞きに行ったんですよ。バリバリ AV の会議やって。家帰って、その時は泣いた、正直な。結構泣いたよ。ほんで、AV は、AV は嫌だ。<笑> AV は嫌だってなった。2本 ?3 本 ?3 本 ?2 本くらい取って、5000万はいけるとかは言ったよ。She looks really emotionally hurt and you know, when big money is involved, there's always gonna be people who try to take advantage of you, but someone, you know, you trusted reaching out to you like vultures, that must be the worst thing, one of the worst things that can happen to you when you have such a fall from grace. I think in Japan, people online would joke about how a female celebrity, once they mess up, they'll end up doing adult films. This will go full circle, but a notable example is Milo Imai, a popular half pipe snowboarder who became depressed after her disastrous run in the 2006 Winter Olympics. She was just 18, but she was ridiculed nationally. She then started seeing hosts to seek emotional refuge only to accumulate debts and having to appear in adult films to pay them back. I think an industry that tries to manipulate vulnerable girls into the adult industry is just disgusting. So, back to Tanukana. In my body language analysis video of hers, I did call her vapid, but I do feel sorry for her for losing everything over a stupid joke. And what really annoys me is where are those online feminists that claim everything is misogyny? Why aren't they coming to Tanukana's defense? The esports industry is dominated by men, and male humor can be really in your face, and she miscalculated her step. We've all seen a person lose everything over a simple mistake, and I do have sympathy toward her. I know we are living in an era where chat GPT will take over the world and make translators go obsolete, along with everything else. Like, I'm sure my existence will go obsolete in five more years. But, Tanukana, if you need any help reaching out to the overseas market, claiming that you're the feminist esports icon, you're funny, you're strong,、uh, I mean, is she funny? I guess so. People in the Tekken circle refer s to you as the Voldemort because they can't mention your name. If you need any help, give me a call. I'll help you. And since I'm gay, you don't even have to show your cleavage. I'll do it for free. It's pro bono. That's it for today. I've always wanted to do what Trevor Noah and Jimmy Kimmel did, but with Japanese news. It's a lot of work trying to summarize everything, trying to figure out what's funny and what's not, what's interesting, what's not as well. So, if you like this content, it would be great if you could like, comment, share, or even subscribe. Or if you did all of them, I'll be super excited. So, I could keep making these videos for you. Thanks for watching. You guys were awesome. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Ciao.